What's up everybody, Brian Tong here, and I want you to hang with me and just let's go back a few weeks ago to Apple's fall event where they announced the new iPhone 16 lineup because during my recap, I said the most important, the most impactful, and the biggest announcement that they had there was the fact that they're offering this new suite of hearing health features, and guess what? It's the AirPods Pro 2 with the latest iPhones, really any iPhone that can run iOS 18.1, and together they've created the world's first all-in-one hearing health experience. And what does that mean? I know, that's a tongue twister in itself. Well, there's three parts that are part of this. One is a scientifically validated hearing test. The second part is an easy to use clinical grade hearing aid. And then the third part is an active hearing protection. So these are three, uh, three elements that create this whole experience. And this is all right on these devices. So I figure let's walk you through it, give you a first look for the first time of exactly what it's like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously have my iPhone here, but I need to pop on my AirPods Pro 2 first, okay? So I'm gonna pop these on. In this experience, again, you need to have the AirPods Pro 2 and then a device that supports iOS 18, okay? And what you'll see here now, BTZ's AirPods Pro, right? This is on my device, but I'm gonna click out of here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the settings. Remember the AirPods Pro 2 are on, and this is all these things that you see here, this is gonna be part of an update that comes next week alongside of iOS 18.1. I'm gonna look for my AirPods, which are identified here on the very first screen when you click on your settings. I'm gonna click into it, and then you'll see what you normally have, right? It shows what mode you have, but if you look here now, you'll see hearing health. This is new, and you'll see hearing protection, hearing assistance, which is off, or take a hearing test. This is phase one of this entire process, so we're definitely gonna take a hearing test. And just to let you know, the World Health Organization estimates that more than 1.5 billion people are actually living with hearing loss today. So this could solve a lot of problems and health issues for a whole lot of people. So let's go here, take a hearing test, and this is gonna be about a five minute process. I'm gonna show you what's on screen here. This is talking about how our hearing, uh, hearing loss is common and can get worse over time. And if you have mild or moderate hearing loss, AirPods Pro can actually provide hearing assistance that makes things like voices and music and movies and sounds around you easier to hear. Again, this is all with just has already existed. You don't need to buy anything new. This is with the current hardware and software and Apple has continued to improve this. So let's get started with this hearing test. And they wanna ask you to provide some details. So you do have to be 18 or older to do this. So I'm gonna say yes. Are you currently experiencing allergies or a cold? Uh, the answer for me is no. Uh, keep on scrolling. Have you been in a loud environment like a concert or construction site in the last 24 hours? Answer is no. But this is all important questions that are part of this process. I'm gonna hit next. So now it's gonna ask you to find a quiet place where you can focus and take the test. I'm talking right now, so it's telling me there's too much noise. So I'm gonna be still here for a moment. Okay, it says the noise levels in this room are okay. You wanna be in a quiet place for this. and I'm gonna hit next. It says place your AirPods in the correct ear. That's always gonna be important. So righty, lefty, I'm good to go, all right? And I'm gonna hit next. You can adjust the position. So this is important. You don't wanna have a loose, the part of this is having a great seal. So make sure it's a snug fit as well, okay? And one thing that a lot of people think is if you don't have a good fit and your AirPods are falling out of your ears, remember AirPods Pro 2 come with these different silicon tips. It's actually smarter to choose a size smaller instead of a size larger. Some people feel, oh, I need a larger size to fit in there. No, you actually need a size smaller to get into that ear canal. So that's just a, a power tip. So I'm gonna hit next here. Now AirPods are gonna check the fit in each ear right now and measure the background noise. I'm gonna be absolutely quiet and we're gonna run this test and start the check. So it played a little jingle while we were waiting. It tells me now, part one of this, the fit is good. It's quiet enough to test your hearing, okay? So let's go to the next step. Turns my phone on do not disturb, and we're gonna go to next. So this test is gonna play these tones that are at different volume levels and frequencies. I'm gonna actually play to you what you'll hear and what it's gonna ask us to do is when we hear these three tones to touch the display. So check out, this is an example of what the test is actually like. Okay, so I'm gonna start my test and hit next. And again, listen carefully, tap the screen each time you hear a tone. So I'm gonna to go to next. 
and sometimes you might miss a tone, you're gonna have to listen really carefully because some are, you know, depending on what you can hear. So let's start the test here. It's about five minutes, okay? All right, so I just wanna let you know you really need to be in a quiet place because the air conditioning was on and the first time we ran this test, it said I need to do it again and it, it's a long process. So it now shows that the test is complete. I'm gonna check out our results and show results. And hearing test results, it says your test indicates little to no hearing loss, thankfully. On my left ear, little to no hearing loss, 10 dBHL. Right ear, same, 10 dBHL. So I'll give you some tips here to keep your hearing healthy. Listen about how hearing is an important part of your health. So there's articles or learn. <laughs> I can't even read. Maybe I should take a reading test. Um, and then no changes needed. So we're just going to finish done. And that's great for me to know. But what if you're someone who actually had hearing loss? I wanted to show you what that process looks like. Happy birthday, mom. We're here to celebrate you. And I'm so proud to be called your son. So check this out. This is an example of someone who took the hearing test with a different result. And here it tells me that your test indicates moderate hearing loss. So left ear 46 dBHL, right ear 46 dBHL. So we're gonna see what can happen next. There's an option on the bottom to say set up hearing aid. So I'm gonna go click on that and it's gonna break down, right? Give some information. Hearing aid, AirPods can help with hearing loss. Your AirPods Pro, these guys right here, these in my ear can help be used as a clinical grade hearing aid. This is the first time we've ever had any type of consumer device be able to be transformed this way. We do know there are other hearing aids available, but this is a product that didn't have this ability before until now. Another thing to note, your AirPods can also make adjustments that help you hear media like music, videos, and phone calls. So you're gonna have to get used to it, but you will be able to tweak some and fine tune some of these settings later. Now on this next panel, it tells you that a hearing aid can take time to get used to, so uh, you may need to get used to this new sound because it will sound different um, through your AirPods Pro. That is normal, it can take a few weeks. You'd be surprised uh, how our brain and our ears are tuned together and they do adapt to each other over time, so a similar process will happen here. Uh, you can speed up the adjustment by tweak, making your own changes as you want, and you can always adjust the sound in AirPods settings and control center. So after that, uh, basically it tells you your hearing aid is ready and if you ever feel that your hearing is getting worse or if you feel pain or you're getting dizzy, you can talk to your doctor and then you can now turn on hearing aid. So we showed you the initial hearing test, then we showed the process that happens if it recommends um, that you can use your AirPods Pro as a hearing aid. And then the third part of this all-in-one solution is the fact that you can also have hearing protection. Now this is gonna be turned on by default. So if I go into my settings again, and I go into my AirPods Pro, you're gonna actually see here an option here that says hearing protection. I'm gonna select that. And from there, loud sound reduction is on. In fact, it's grayed out. So what that means is this is gonna be by default turned on. And why this is really important is that we may not realize in everyday life, um, there's we hear a lot of different sounds, something like a hair dryer blowing your ear, That's that measured at 90 decibels. When you go to a concert, you're hitting easily over 100 decibels. So these are made to on the fly with the H2 chip inside of the AirPods Pro. It actually scans and processes audio 48,000 times per second. Basically, it's like your brain in these AirPods Pro and then adjust the damaging sound levels that could be harmful over time. Now, one thing it is not gonna be able to really protect you over a sustained amount of period for anything as loud as something over 110 decibels, which is really loud. So that's something like fireworks, uh, gunshots or explosions, which many of us are not uh, around, but that's where it can't help you if that's something at that level that's sustained. But if you think about something like going to concerts, which again, easily hits over 100 all the time, and that is constant, you can put in these AirPods and hearing protection works whether you're in transparency mode, you're in adaptive audio mode, or when you're in noise canceling mode. And this is just to overall help us and protect our ears. So there's just your first look. I really wanted to show you as best as I could 
what this is like, right? This is again, is the world's first all-in-one hearing health experience from Apple and what it requires, AirPods Pro 2, a phone a device that supports iOS 18 or higher. And again, there were three parts of this that we showed you. First of all, a scientifically validated hearing test, which is on here and again, you pop these AirPods Pro 2 in your ears. Then second, an easy to use clinical grade hearing aid, which is these guys. And then third, active hearing protection. I think no matter what, whether you choose to use the hearing test or not, um, no matter what, bottom line, use these, you're gonna baseline, get hearing protection, and then it's really up to you to kind of take those next steps. But you don't. You can then also match your results and go see a doctor in person as well uh, for other guidance. But this is just a way where Apple has completely changed what the AirPods Pro 2 do. I remember buying these um, a long time ago, and then they're like, oh, here, let's just do a software upgrade to give you transparency mode and adaptive audio and conversational awareness. And then this year, they're saying, oh, hey, you don't need to buy a new pair of AirPods Pro. Now we're giving you an all-in-one hearing health feature suite. Uh, this is incredible. You love to see it when something like this can be transformed year after year, and I'm not even having to pay an extra dime for it. So kudos to Apple for, for this. Remember, this will be available sometime next week with the release of iOS 18.1, but there's your first look at the hearing health features for the AirPods Pro 2 in iOS 18.